Okay, we've talked about microphones and I recommended the ATR 2100. Now, I'm going to give you four options broken down into two categories for recording your podcast and actually getting the audio. Ultimately, what happens is you plug a microphone into something, you hit record on that something, and that something records what goes into the microphone. We're going to talk about two options, software and hardware. And within each of those categories, we're going to talk about two additional options. One that I find is generally a little bit more complex and or expensive, and one that I think is cheaper and easier to use. In each category, there are those two variants. So let's talk about how you're going to record your podcast, starting with, of course, software. If you are technically savvy, and if you're doing your own editing, and you're a bit geeky like me, and you want to kind of dig into software, and you're a solo podcast, what I would recommend is that you use the free Audacity. Now, we've got links in the crib sheet to this, the free Audacity recording software. And you can either edit in that software, depending on your editing preferences that we talked about in the editing section, or you can put that into an editor like Ali2, and you can work with Audacity for your recording, get the audio out of there and pop it into Ali2. Don't worry about that for now. We'll talk about that in the editing section. But... That can be a little complicated. It's okay if you're recording solo and you're a little bit more technically minded. It is the most technical of these options. So that's kind of option one when it comes to software. But option two is if you do interviews or if you just want to take all of the pain away from having to figure out software, having to figure out actually opening the software, getting the WAV file out and all that kind of geeky stuff, the simplest way to record with software is to use Squadcast. Now, this is a piece of software run by two friends of mine, Zach and Rockwell, and they are wonderful at what they're doing. They've made online recording software for guests, interviews, and for solo people like you. And the way it works is that you just log in online, and if you've got an interview show, you send your guest a very simple link. They don't need software. They log in online as well. And you record into your computer using the ATR, and what happens is that Squadcast records your audio and it will record it in really high quality format. The same for your guest. It will record their audio on their side, so there's no compression, there's no loss of quality, and it will then give you the files when you finish recording. Now, this is a real low friction, simple way without any worry about software to record interviews remotely and even to just record yourself. So, on the software side, for simplicity, I would recommend, if you're a little geeky, if you're a little techie and you want to get into the tech, sure, play with Audacity. But it's a bit of a learning curve. So my recommendation is if you want to go down the software route of just plugging in the ATR into a piece of software or into your computer, which is the very simplest version of podcasting and the very easiest way to do it, plug your ATR into your computer, turn it on, log into Squadcast and record like that. Regardless of if you do interviews or solo, Squadcast will give you wonderful audio that you can then send to your editor or put into your editing software later. When we get to that, I'll talk to you about that. The other side of the recording coin is hardware. And hardware is, as you'd expect, physical things, physical devices that you either record into or you record through. And let me explain what I mean by that. If you record into a device, what that means is that that device stores the audio on the device or on a memory card. You take the memory card out, get the audio off, send it to your editor or put it into your editing software. Again, later we'll talk about that. So hardware, if you're recording directly to it, you can record straight to the SD card, to the micro SD card, to the memory card inserted in that device. And I'll talk to you about that in just a moment. If you use that hardware in another way, because all podcasting hardware, and I'll talk to you about two options for this in a second, two devices, all podcasting hardware can also be used as what's called an interface. So if you imagine you've got a microphone like this, the Heil PR40 that doesn't have a USB input on it or a USB output on it, this XLR cable with the three prongs on it can't talk to the computer because there's no plug for it and there's no amplification. So a device, some hardware, and I'll talk to you about two of them in just a second, will basically take the signal from here and turn it into something that the computer can understand. So your technology becomes microphone plugged into hardware, 
hardware plugged into computer. And when you record into the computer, into Squadcast or into Audacity, you would choose, instead of choosing ATR 2100 uh, or the Samsung Q2U as your input, you would choose the interface name. That's very complicated. I'm not a fan of that for starting a podcast. I don't see why you need that complexity, okay? So software recording, ATR 2100, straight into Squadcast, that's your option. But if you do like hardware, I've got two options for you. I've got the Rodecaster Pro, which I'm actually using right now. It's a fantastic device, but it does cost four, five hundred bucks, depending on when you get it and where you get it from. It's a multi-channel recorder with music beds included that is something you can put on your desk and you can leave it, okay? It's a great device. I use it for a lot of my podcast recording and I highly recommend it. But unless you're going to be tethered to a desk and you want to spend four or five hundred pounds or dollars on a device, you probably don't need it. But if you really want to go down the hardware route, I do have another option, which is this. This is a hundred bucks and it's the Zoom PodTrack P4. It does everything that the Rodecaster does. It sounds fantastic. It's got four microphone inputs. So if you want to take it out with you, stick it in a bag. It's battery powered. It can be powered from your computer. It can interface to your computer. It's got your four volume knobs. It's got all the music beds so you can start to play music directly into your recording. It's got headphone outputs just like the Rodecaster has got. In short, this is like a little mini Rodecaster. It's an all-in-one, just like the Rodecaster is. It's an all-in-one podcasting studio that can basically be chucked in a bag and carried around. I still think that the easiest way to record your podcast is to record using an ATR 2100 into Squadcast because there are no moving parts. There's nothing to worry about. But if you do want to go down the audio hardware route, the Zoom PodTrack P4 is my recommendation. It's 100 bucks, maybe just a touch over, maybe just a touch under, depending when and where you get it from. It allows for four channels to be recorded, music beds, and an SD card just like this one, maybe smaller, maybe bigger, depending on where you get it from, will slot into this slot here. And all of your recordings will be recorded to this you take the SD card out, pop it into your computer, get the audio files off it, send them to your editor or put it into your editing software. So I do highly recommend that the ATR2100 goes into Squadcast. That is my number one recommendation to get you started podcasting because it'll be wonderful quality audio. But if you want to really get into it, record into some hardware and use that Zoom PodTrack P4 to record, okay? And then just get your files off the SD card in WAV file format, which again, we're going to talk about later when we talk about audio files. Get it off there in a WAV file format, send it to your editor or put it into your editing software. Again, we'll talk about that on the next video. Hardware, Zoom PodTrack P4. Software is, in my view, the best way to do it. ATR 2100 plugged into your computer via Squadcast. Do your recording that way. Why do I like this PodTrap P4? Because like I said on the microphone tutorial, I like to be able to chuck a couple of microphones into my bag, take this recorder with me, go and do all my podcasting when I'm at conferences or when I'm traveling. I'm not tethered to the desk. A Rodecaster Pro is a wonderful piece of kit, but for you right now, unless you want it, unless you're a real tech person, like I'm a tech geek, I love buying tech stuff and audio stuff, get it if you love tech stuff. It works the same way as the Zoom PodTrap P4. It records to a hard drive and you can transfer from there. But why spend four, five hundred on that? Okay. Right now, I think you could probably spend your time and your money. If you've got that kind of investment, put it into an editor. All right. So final recap. My recommendation is an ATR 2100 into Squadcast. The easiest way to record a podcast. And... If you want to get into the hardware, the Zoom PodTrap P4, and you can plug any mic of choice into that, but it works well with the ATR2100 or the Samsung Q2U. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you get along. We see so many options in podcast tech. Let me know in the Facebook group on the office hours, 11 a.m. this Friday. Let me know what you chose. Let me know if I can help with it. We've got a, a review, an in-depth review of the Zoom PodTrap P4 on our YouTube channel. And of course, we talk about the Rodecaster Pro and all the different microphones over there as well. So whatever you need, do let me know. But let's not worry about podcast tech, all right? It's just making a decision on the simplest setup for you.